Hey guys, it's me, Austin. Welcome back to another video, and today we are, you know, doing stuff. Today we are going to be doing some, um, some basic just building tutorial. It's just a basic building tutorial for something special that I thought, hey, you know, I can't really think of anything, so why not we just do something basic? So I thought, hey, why not I just do, like, a basic building tutorial? So here we are. Also because my survival series is so bad. So, so bad. Because I'm stuck and I cannot find a single bit of iron, so I'm just waiting and waiting. So, and this, so I haven't been able to do a video on that just yet. So here we are. We're just gonna. This is like a filler video. Imagine it that way. So yeah. Um. Today we're gonna be doing a market stall. Woo! Market stall, like the most basic medieval thing ever for decorations. Woo! Yeah, I know. I know. It's boring. But you can do it in multiple different ways. But I'm just gonna show you my preferred way. And you know, we could use this for something later. Like this also, guys. This this should help you if you guys are making like some kind of giant build or something. In Minecraft, and that just needs a little bit of help when it comes to like decorations. This is just like a little thing, so yeah. I'm all, I might not do this this often, but I may just do this. So I grabbed these blocks specifically because, well, I wanted to, and so here we are. We got these blocks. These are the blocks I'm gonna use. I put the iron bars there just in case I, if it doesn't work right, if the one thing doesn't work right that I'm thinking of, but you know, I never know about that. So here's the thing I'm gonna start with this. Boom. See this here? This is the starting point. You go like that, and boom. Bam. So you think this is superly basic? Yeah, it is. But then you realize, oh wait, how am I supposed to do it right? So that's when this comes in, and I'm just gonna bob it a boobity. So yeah, here we are. We just have this basic shape, basic design. I'm gonna do that and that. I have auto jump on it. I don't know why it automatically turns on, and I still hate that it does. So, yeah. Do that, that, and yeah. So, yeah, here we are. This is this, this, the bottom part can be any design you want. I just made it this way because I wanted to, and because I thought it was going to be fun. But, so, yeah. Um,. You can also just do it that, but eh, I'm keeping the corners just to make this easier. So, here's what I'm thinking. So you know how they, they like have like the things that pop up so you know you do it this way? Wrong. You put it here. This area right here. See this? See this? That is a good area. So, you put a little slab there, bobbity boopity. So then, what I'll do is this. I go up, and then I go forward. Because if you just go straight up it's not gonna look right so that's why you go forward a little bit and then for the other side you do the exact same thing basically but you do it on top of everything so it's cooler looking so yeah I was gonna do a different video about like how to build an airship but you know so it's like way over there but I completely messed up on the balloon and uh, I don't know how to do that completely good so yeah. let's just make that complete corner so yeah uh, here we are Slash time, set, day, enter. So yeah, you see this here? This is like a basic design, but like it, this could help you work out on like how you want to do your build. So what I'm thinking about doing is having it that way. The bottom part may possibly just be a different color than it, but it still works. Like it's a different fence color, but it still works. And then what I want to do is I just want to add this in, not this one. Okay. So you notice this and how it looks weird. So if you just want to add a little bit more detail to make it look like, oh yeah, you know, it's not just one prong, but you don't want it to connect, you could add that in to make it look like, you know, there's two supports on one thing. You know, it makes it look cooler. But now we got to do this part, which is the hardest part in anything which is actually making the stall itself and actually making the top look nice because here's the thing the the part is is that the only hard part is the actual top of the build and this little section here because it's so hard to make it look right it's like super hard so that's why I'm here to help you also I did realize I just realized something I could do but first I need to grab some string this is actually, I'm actually going to show you guys a little technique 
I know about. So, you know, this is like a little technique added in here where is the carpets of VR. So, you see this? So, if you didn't know, you can actually place string and it turns into a tripwire. It's like how tripwires work in desert temples. But, what you can do is you can place carpets on top of them. And it's really cool. I realized I made my mistake. We're gonna pretend I didn't make a mistake and pretend that this is like a weird looking one, okay? But I definitely made a mistake. And please don't judge me. But pretend this is actually right. You know, actually, wait. wait I can fix this. Boom. Bam. Pop. Just change all that and blah 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 blah. And now everything's perfectly fine. Everything's perfectly fine. Maybe okay. A okay. Yeah. Alright, so with the technique of string, you can use it as a way to basically place down stuff. Also, you can also, but just, I don't know what happens if you, okay, so no, it doesn't do that, okay. But like, so if you want to, and you, and you feel like you're making like the adventure map or something, and you want to have villagers wandering around, well, and you're worried about the string, it doesn't work. It doesn't automatically activate it via villagers going through strings. So, yay. Yay for you guys who are making adventure maps. Hooray. So, here we are. Boom. Marker stall. If But you may be thinking, hey, this looks kind of boring. So, if you want to, you can add carpets on top to make it look like it has a little bit of some layering going on. You know? Makes it look like it has some layering. You know, it's just boom, 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 boom. Look, it's got a little layering and stuff. See, look at that. Look at this. Just look at this on the side and then look up a little bit and then look at that. Looks interesting, doesn't it? Well, yeah. But that's the thing. It really doesn't. So if you want to, you could just extend it to make it look a tiny bit better. To make it look like it works a little bit better. And yes, it is hard to see, but that's okay. But at least if you're looking at a side view and you look up like, like you know, to here... You can see that little layer right there. Also, I'm using 1.14.4 because, well, 1.15 OptiFinding hasn't come out yet and I haven't been able to find it. Or at least I haven't looked for it yet. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But, yeah, once it, once I do get that, I will just start doing videos more in 1.15 with uh, OptiFind. I was going to do shaders when I did the thing, but, nah, it just it didn't work out. So, yeah. So, yeah, look at that. You get this mark stall. But, you may be wondering, wait, this looks dumb. So, to fix that, that was a bad idea. Alright, so you think, like, look at this bottom part. It looks really dumb, and it just doesn't look right because it's missing stuff. Well, that's the thing. So, you use chests. So, here's the thing. Chests in uh, crafting tables and uh, what's it? Oh, note blocks and what? where's the barrel? Barrel. Here we are. See, these blocks work super well for storaging. They, they work, they're basically storage blocks, basically, here. Okay, okay this, this auto jump is going to kill me. I hate this. It keeps doing this, and I hate it when it puts this on automatically. It's so annoying. But yeah, basically, that's how you can decorate a, st a stall. But you can also add more to it to add even more detail and to make it look like maybe it has little tiny packages or whatever. So, like, here's the thing you can also do. If you have barrels or anything that's sticking out like this, you can shift, place a sign to make it look like it's been packed up. So, like, you know, let's say, you know, like, this chest is about to be packed up, ready to go onto a boat and stuff. So, you know, that's how that can be looked like that. And also what you could add is add little thing that can make it look like there's little tiny things. Like, boom, bam, boop, bop. Pow. See, look, this is basically the best you can get for a market stall when you want to have stuff in it because you can have chests and all this other stuff, but you can also put flower pots, which make it look like, you know, they're tiny little packages or, you know, they're a cup or just a flower pot, which, by the way, I'm going to put aluminum in this one to make it look like, you know, it's actually a flower pot. So, boom, that's a market stall, medieval market stall. And now, just to prove everything that this is, could be good, we're gonna um, 
Wait, wait, I'm on the wrong thing. I'm, I am not smart sometimes. And look at that. And then, wait. Okay, wait, wait. wait. Let me get something out that will make him something. Uh, uh, Fletcher, Fletcher. Let's just grab a, a fletching table because I want him to become a fletching table actually. A Fletcher. I like the Fletcher design. Boom. <laughs> become a Fletcher. He became a fisherman. I hate, him. I hate his existence. No, his existence sucks. Now, the main problem is, is if you do want actual villagers, then, well, this happens. They just wander around. So if you want to, you could put, like, put barrier blocks. Or if you really want to, you could just put some blocks here to make them stop running around. Where the heck did he go? There he is. So yeah, that's a, that's a market stall. This is a very simple building tutorial. For you guys today and i hope you guys enjoy please make sure to hit that like button subscribe and also and all that stuff and i'll see you guys next time bye